but it's gonna be a long ass climb. Definitely a long ass climb, Kali. I mean, they have to hold that down for as long as possible because if Blacklist gets it from even a second, they're gonna bring it all the way. It oh, looks no. like Blacklist is gonna be able to take it right now. Three more points, and it they looks are like riding it with multiple score streaks. And now they're using the Fury Fire to burn their players down. And there it is, Seattle once again, causing chaos and spawning the Venus away from the hill, which buys Blacklist more time inside of this fence as hard point. You know, it's no question if Divinus can really be on par in terms of the gunfire shirt for Blacklist International Ultimate, but where does Blacklist just be better at compared to Divinus is really just endurance, man. They're from their spawns. Bitchy right now spraying and going left and right, going for a crossover to steam up the process of them winning. And there goes the stop. Eight seconds remaining, eight points remaining for them. And next hill is available with this guy, number one, Kazuko Sin, already on it. Six ankles broken down here by the side of Mitchie and only five more points away for them to seal the deal. Mitchie. Just making life work of Shaw Shreds has been putting up right from the start of the matchup. As you can see, they all have two players moving in right through graveyards, but Demors is there oh to shut them down day. and now they spawn back to the bricks and there's going to be five players lining up in one angle and if Demors could get this timing right, that could just be more devastation. Wow. One sixteen five to nine and Demors is just lining it up. West Point Mambo Loki's Demore, the demoralizing. He is insane. Demoralizing each and every player from oh the no. of Shush. He is it. Because they know that they didn't do so well, but you know what? We're going to be going for that B hit. Mm -hmm. But again, Divinus is good, doing a really good job at responding to that type of push. And now the players don't actually know that there's one more play from Blacklist right there. Turner. That's going to be Rage with 20 to his name. And not just that, Javen is fully streaked out, which is very dangerous. Speaking of, brings out the Preddy, gets that too. That is going to be really big information, a really big kill as well, as 25 and 18 are going to be the life count here with a tick of progress in Bravo as well. So with Blacklist, looks like they adjusted so well compared to that last attacking round that they actually had. Yeah, and Divin is right now losing the lives at this point. And well, it's only one tick from both sides. Alpha is slowly going in for that second tick. But at this late game, I think more of the score streaks that is being used right now can be utilized. And it will be um, that easy for Blacklist Ultimate to stack up. And in ECR does the game of mathematics in their head. They know that they can let go of those scraps to take over this next hill. And Ashuri goes in for the setup. Everybody has been cleared off of his area already from that second floor Ashuri Ooh. fantastic positioning Josh taken out of the equation from the second floor now gets the three kills and that's gonna be a game changer for the side of EZR but it is still the broke boys level hope hold on to that hill six more points in here for the fight Ashuri free flop can't do much because the rest of his team members are just a little bit too far away it's such a close game right now. Both teams at the 240 mark, but it's gonna be a contest from both teams in that hard point. The easy R is gonna be able to win. might be able to close this game, but Broke Boys goes in for the contest, saying no. The pure, the, the have Vortex gun come a in. A minute to go here to take away this round against oh R&D. My god, this is a phenomenal comeback from EZR. I mean, it's all equal on the lives. And EZR is pushing in for this A control point as well. What? Strokes, annihilate what? investment. Can he get another one for himself? This guy fully streaked up. He tries to peek what? around and he gets the final kill as well. Easy reborn. You can look at the points now. You can look at the kills. They barely yeah. have any kills compared to Ralph Frantic where they're hitting 20, the 20 point mark. Only two players and Asus about to reach that 20k. So again, it's just being outslayed most of the time here. Yeah, that's the main problem here for Shush. They're not winning out their gunfights. And even if you do have those solid strategies where you're going to keep your opponents confused, if you cannot win your gunfights when you meet them out there on the battlefield, it's a little bit of a GG for you. 151 to 65. Aros just on a roll now with that KRM just blazing up all of his opponents. Paul now. Paul Springs activated on his side just a matter of time before that operator comes online as well. Four operators in total for the players of Scatty to use. And time is running out so the question is will scatty go in for the full-on investment but no it's time's up nobody is he did they pause it on zero seconds yeah he, he stepped inside the hill what? right in time before it expires what? 
go speed. He's gonna what? need to stay alive. <laughs> I, I didn't know you can stop the clock on zero seconds. Zero seconds. We did done. Zero seconds. We did over. To miss the second time round as Cisco shows up. Tokyo gets taken down and out of the equation. Speed hits that double. One more life left here for R&D. And it's all in the hands of Male. Can Male take all of these three kills? Spots that one player shoots him down. The objective now being sneaked away, Gali. Oh, well for Malik. Needs to find one more. It's gonna be the guy in the corner, but Chirac mm. finds him and Greg six. Yeah. And it looks like Mouse is gonna be able to sneak in. No, the final second he gets nailed down to the ground, but it's okay. They've got two of those components away from the B control point oh. already, but Nasty's just super nasty with that claw play. Yeah, I mean, he's got a backup in here as well, so that's double trouble here now for Shush. They need to break free and they have to team up, but the Predator missile is going to connect there as well. Same thing with the Hunter Killer drone and RAU Nasty oh, just popping off, getting that trip piece, and here comes the Fred. Nothing's going to connect but the damage that they did, and he's just breaking through. How is he still alive? Yeah, I know, right? How is this guy point as a whole? And Tokyo, who's circling around, can he find the kill? The answer is yeah. traded out by Cisco, who saves the team's life 6 to 5. This is way too close of a match. There's only one operator here for Tokyo, and he's gonna have to pull it out if they want to win. Ooh. But they're pretty just cleaning them up. Lining wow. them up, wow. just wow. it, gets the so five. Mighty as the clock, of course, will be extended to another minute. Shut up, trying to clear things off. Locus misses it. It's just a hit mark for oh, the secondary. Whips out. And Shut up, still gets the kill. Oh. Pops yet another hit mark. Come on. For the Annihilator investment as well. And everything's working right wow. for Almighty. Uh, the sniper is just not just in the close range, but of course, in the long range action, he's on a five spree with the Locus. And he's been unstoppable, controlling this A control point all by himself. Yeah, secondary out for Shut up now. He gets tagged up. Just repositions himself. One concussed will come on through it. Oh my god. <laughs> what a play, shut up! And this guy is just an absolute monster. Ten more lives left for the players of Smart Omega. They are on the attack. They are running out of time. The B control point on the tease by one player, but he gets taken out instantaneously by the one and only Incendio. Whoopi. Those who want to get up, so it's those guys who are broke. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, if you're talking about an underdog, it's gonna be R and D. What you talking about, my man? I'm Three. talking about cash, man. I'm talking about cash. I mean, it, it's Speak hard to be broke. <laughs> it is hard to be broke. Speaking of which, if they actually make it to the playoffs, I think uh, Nino Rain has to come in here and sponsor them. You know, rich kids has to pick up the broke boys club and make oh. them into a bunch of really, really rich kids. I think that'll be the most epic thing to happen to the Broke Boys Club if they can prove themselves in here and make it up there. I mean, I personally will drop Rain a message and say, hey, I think it's a team that's waiting for you. Indeed, getting the scrap points and it's not so much though, but it's a good thing that oh, they're still oh. focusing in getting at the hard point. One has been taken down by Seven in there using that Freddy and Seven right now prepared to take that stairs to take anyone who gets in. Yeah, everything's going the way of Broke Boys Club and they mainly just released the final 10 points because they wanted to set up the P2, right? Taking over the Special Forces base is just so important because it allows you to spawn just right beside Ghetto and that just allows you to just send in multiple personalities into that hard point. And look at this, man. They've not controlled one but two spawns at the same time. They've taken over Broken as well as the Special Forces base but just one mistake of hopping on into the hill from Broken has given away that spawn to R&D, who now stands a better chance of flooding this hill. And as I say that, they managed to break it just for a couple of seconds. Now, they do have the manpower. If you do not have the special forces base, you have to force the spawn out of Broken. I don't know if this was intentional, but R&D... still going to get taken down there. Joke, nice shot with that SKS. He's just so surprising and consistent here that this slumps control. 10 for 15. Five live lead here for the side of EZR. Scatty. I mean, in terms of specialists, three well available for them, speed, Cisco, and mids. You really f have to find a way to invest this one up. In terms of, you know, forcing a round number five, I think really coming in raw mechanical gunfire is not really the hardest choice as well. So it might be one option for them as we move along. Nice here, win, Cisco. We'll try to ensue. Speed will pick up two. Tractor finding an entry onwards. Van as well. Looking like they are going to get closer and closer to the hill. Speed with an investment with an Annihilator will pick up two. Oh. Tarak will pick up one as well. The odds here might be further more. Look at the break here. Look at the break, Ali.
They just are just mental with their gunfights and the investment of the Annihilator is just clearly popping off and Speed is opening things up at the garage. They're claiming time and Snurfy there for the backup and Chirac is just waiting wow. for the next gunfight. Four wow. players slap for easy reward and Scotty is just on that hot streak and Chirac has wow. been a big part of that. He's just lighting Woo! it up. He's just lighting them up. Let oh, them and he is able to put himself up in the board. 5v2 situation. Earth and J in heaven. What can you do? Ah, uh, well. That's very smart for Cisco, by the way. I mean, routing around the ghetto just to win that gunfight, but Clutch King Earth and J. He brings out the Sparrow early. Scotty will not see this one coming. And they better play that bait and switch fast. Now, that's going to be tactical oh, no. utilities, gonna be heard. But Earth and J is gonna spot Cisco first. Gets the spray down, but not gonna get that kill. And now we see. He just claiming time. It's the malicious attack from Air Fun J as he clutches oh, exactly the first. how to circle around all of their opponents, hold on to those angles, and really torture them. And now Scatty, with just four more lives left against Smart Omega. Yeah, this is a Smart Omega round. Smart Omega winning most of their gunfights. They're going to be able to knock down all the players of Scatty, but while doing so, they're also going to be able to capture both points in just a couple of seconds and just like that. Pressure in the kitchens, and of course, now that she, he's going to be advancing towards the island, Rage is going to be able to open things up with the shotgun, and this is one thing that you really have to watch out when you're playing a map like Raid. I mean, the spawns are just crazy once you get the kitchen control when you're on the attacking side, and well, the pressure definitely in it for Divinus, but for Blacklist, they haven't really made a lot of moves yet while attacking that A capture. They're looking to play for eliminations, and AG just locking it down. Rage on the point plug against Aurora, and well, it is just a total blood fight for Rage. Six in a row, make that seven. Can we see eight for this guy with the KRM making it look so easy? Ooh. Make that nine, shrinking it up. Let them know it. Oh my, he's still no! on the roll. No! He still continues. Stop! 11 combo streak, 12 kills under his name. Fully streaked up as well. Looking like he's not going to be able to get the last and final kill. But the raid. Down the hill though, off. because Almighty looking to barge themselves here from Zigzag. It's yeah, still a good hold right now, coming from Almighty at this point, getting a few more seconds for them on that hill. And Ziab right now doing great job in there, stopping of a uh, challenge coming from Almighty Irfan J. For him, six combos free actually, nine kills in total. And he's still on the roll, he's still on the prowl, make it a 10. And he's gonna be about the whipping of the Annihilator, making it an 11 as well. Can he make it a 12? Oh my days, he's still insane. He's gonna try to go for a wall bang here as well, but can he find Ooh. it all? Absolutely, yes! And he's fully straight up. EMP well available for instead of LF4 by the courtesy of CF. Especially when you have a good defensive position against the team of Almighty Zia right now. Still alive and kicking. No oh. one can bring him down. He is on his 16 going into the 17 as he goes for the backstab. And oh. there you have it. Can't let go. Back to back to back slays. And no oh. one can push him around. Zia still alive. Going in very close to that 20 with that pretty. And there oh. goes that 20th slay in here. Oh. 90 points getting close. I wasn't expecting this much of a Morgan here. And guess what? CF is still on the road. Like Yopi has been taken out by Apollo and the Moors. Surprisingly, God Nade coming from him to Esto. It's still not yet the time in terms of lives, and PJ will try to balance it off. The spawn trap might be triggered at this point with the flank being done by PJ. And uh, as quickly as that, it's now brought into 1920 and 1820 slowly um, catching up is for Suits King in terms of capture. The capture here, 18 to 17. We are moving along, looking like a Pred will fly through. That's gonna be a double kill for the set of PJ as well. 10 kills already under, his, under this guy's name. Can I get an 11? Absolutely yes! Saving himself! 197 to 198! The lead was on for the side of the West Point Mamba Loki's with Blacklist International Altered. They want to deny, but the backstab from the Morse will come in. Yaddo skirt AG under his name, but till then, whatever the West Point Mamba Loki's have been able to do, Javen has been able to deny! But that was a fundamental mistake, unfortunately, for the West Point Mamba Loki's. They had the manpower, they had the positioning to take away the favorable spawns. They went in straight up for a hill. A hill that was not unlocked just yet, and they gave away the momentum to Blacklist International. Now they need to catch right back up, but the hard point after this is going to be even more tougher. Basketball caught.